day 59 of making our way down to Land's End and it's 6.27 a.m. We've just packed up where we camped and this is where we camped on this, this track. It's not a footpath or anything, but it's just a little track just off the coast path. Uh, so we're making our way along the North Devon cliffs, along the southwest coast path towards uh, Heartland Point and then Heartland Quay. And there's a pub there at Heartland Quay, uh, which we're aiming for, which is about eight miles away. And it was a lot of rain this morning, um, but it seems to have eased up and today should be all right for weather wise. Um, but yeah, I had to pack the tent away, it's soaking wet. So hopefully we can get that out at some point and dry it. But it's gonna be a tough eight miles to Heartland Quay. I think it's very strenuous with a lot of ups, a lot of downs and uh, a lot of cliff walking but we should be getting some awesome views, hopefully. It's looking very grey up ahead and it's coming towards us. Looks like we're in for more rain. But the heavens have opened now. And it's peeing it down. Awesome, they're doing wildflower margins along the farmer's fields. And it looks really nice. And it's good for the birds and the bees as well. having a little break uh, the rain's eased off and it's pretty windy um, so we're taking this opportunity just to dry everything out we've got the tents drying out socks and shoes are all wet and trying to dry out um, we're having some plant-based chicken pieces uh, with loads of couscous um, we've got a lovely view of heartland point um, to enjoy when we're eating our food about three miles away from Heartland Quay where there's a pub and um, we'll probably go to the pub as well uh, because all our stuff's getting low on power now uh, the sun hasn't been out for a few days so the power banks are low phones are low just everything's running low on power so we're struggling to keep everything charged at the moment so when that happens we get in as many pubs as we can and get everything on charge blister update. The big blister that I popped on my left foot in between my toes is doing all right. I'm keeping it clean, putting antiseptic cream on and yeah it's fine, it's not hurting at all and it's, it's healing itself. Um, but my right little toe is just got a massive blister on. I just Every time one blister heals another one pops up and the whole little toe is just red now and it's sort of the whole toe is like a little blister and it's really hard to strap up um, but yeah that's the only thing I'm dealing with at the moment just one little blister on my little toe and it's really annoying but hopefully it sorts itself out soon I think they're alpacas, I think. And there's a little baby one. A little baby alpaca. What did you buy, Di? Uh, ice cream. And chocolate. It's emergency calories. <laughs> it's not very healthy. There was nothing healthy. Okay, we'll find some fruit at the next place. More chips. We love chips. We do love chips. It's 
three o'clock now and um, we've only gone 8.6 miles so it's been really really slow going today it's really tough really hilly um, but this coastline is stunning and the waves are just rolling in today and it's cleared up nicely uh, so we're just leaving Hartland Quay which is basically just a part of a tiny little shop and and toilets and we've got about 15 miles to go now down the coast to Bude and it's going to be really really tough it's one of the hardest sections on the coast path so that's 20 to 6 and we're on 14 miles walked now we've got a really really tough section of the coast path and it's 10 valley crossings where it just goes all the way down to the little tiny river and then all the way back up and we're on number one so we've just climbed down there and we're now climbing up the other side so after this there's nine more and they just go one after the other up down up down and it's brutal but we get some stunning stunning sea views along the way. So Ronald Duncan is a poet and playwright from 1914 to 1982 and this is his little hut. Ronald Duncan's hut is open. He used to sit here looking out at the sea writing poems and plays. Not a bad view. down valley five and now we're climbing back up again along these tiny little switchbacks <laughs> so it's half past nine now and we made it 19.88 miles uh, we are shattered that was uh, we made it seven seven valleys crossed and we got three more to go until viewed um, but yeah they are steep and sharp and they are really really tough um, but we found a place to camp on the cliffs just put the tents up here and we're right on the path here here's the southwest coast path and uh, we've got a lovely sea view it's awesome and uh, yeah it's nice to find a nice little flat spot because there's not many places to camp on the coast path itself um, there's lots of bracken and lots of uh, sort of footpaths where you just it's all overgrown so you can't camp so it's nice to find somewhere and uh, we've just been treated with a lovely sunset that was lovely like look really red and orange and we're about four miles away from view so we should be getting in there in the morning uh, for breakfast and i'm going to be getting in my tent now get some sleep and i'm going to be listening to these waves rolling in as I fall asleep, which uh, is going to be really, really nice because it's like white noise. 